To ba do ruko wen yi wo, to ba do ruko wen yi wo, a wè ro re le o, i le lo lo tarara, a wè ro re le o, i le lo lo tarara. En le ni be wo ni le loko, en si ku dedi a si ku yi. Hey guys, it's Adirun Ke again. Today I'm going to be talking about oru, and whether or not it means heaven. The song that I sang earlier, don't worry, I'll make a separate video for it. The words say, Ile lo lo tarara. Ile lo lo tarara. Om is where he or she, it doesn't matter what kind of gender the person had, you know, when they died. The Yoruba pronouns are not gender specific. A lot of things were not gender specific apart from pronouns, but that would be for the respective videos. Ile lo lo tarara. The, the person, whoever they were, went home straight. The person went home straight. Ile lo lo tarara. The idea of the heaven with streets of gold, you know, or the heaven with how many virgins maybe 70 or seven maybe seven 70 i don't know I, i'm sorry <laughs> i don't know uh the idea of that kind of heaven is foreign to us the idea that uh, heaven is up and hell is down and mm -mm, it's not in our culture it was introduced via religion and via the immigration of certain people to 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 where we we lived and where we still live in present day nigeria oru oru is a contraction it's a contraction of the word oriru 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 and they have mentioned it in the respective video that the yoruba people like to either shrink a word you know or more commonly combine two words and make them one word oriru Oriru. Oru is like a dialectical shortened version. And right away, if you've seen my video on Ashe or, or, or so, I think that's the video. I mentioned Ori. I talked about it in detail. So immediately, when you see this word, you can easily pinpoint the word Ori. The idea of the Ori of course is divided into two parts there's the orio de which is the physical head and the orinu which is the spiritual head so the orio de is often the head you know the physical the one that you can see but it's used extensively to mean the physical self as a whole so the whole of the person you know it's an extensive use it could be the top Ori tabili, for example, you know, the top of the table, on the table, you know, the pinnacle, the highest point, the main place, the major point. The Ori Inu, however, is the spiritual one, the soul, the spiritual self, if you will. And it's used extensively to mean the destiny, the life path, and the life purpose. So that's the ori you know it's a large phenomenon in the ashe video i went to it to a considerable degree i didn't go too in depth but this is the gist of it the second part of the word ori is ru. i don't know if anyone who's watching this video has seen the video on the yoruba people and evolution i talked about the changes that have happened to the culture, to the way that the language is written, to the way that pronunciations are made and all of that. I gave the example of, of even the Elizabethan English, which is more recent, you know, then you would have said, wherefore thou? Now you would say, where are you? 
So you can obviously see the difference. The same applies to the Yoruba language. There are certain words that have acquired new meanings and the previous meanings for these words have sort of gone out of use and there are newer words that have been introduced to the system. A major part, you know, when it comes to the loss of certain words or certain proverbs or certain lessons or certain tales would be because, you know, until a few centuries ago, the language wasn't a written language. I'm not going to repeat the things that, that I mentioned in that video. I'll probably link it to this one and encourage you to watch it. Uh, my point essentially is we have words that you would call <laughs> old Yoruba words. I mean, all Yoruba is <laughs> old, obviously. Where are you came from wherefore at thou, you know, it's... You can't say one is, or it, it wasn't that where are you was created in the year 1990 or even 2000. It's not like a separate language. So I suppose all Yoruba is old Yoruba, but when I say old Yoruba, I mean certain words that may not often be used in their oldest ways of applying them. No means it's old yoruba like i've said it means originate from or initiate from or stem from she is a word that you would use that is often used you know more commonly than now with the way that the standard yoruba works the standard non-dialectical yoruba people use the word she more often niboloti shewa niboloti shewa they would often use the verb she, you know, when they want to use a standalone verb for to mean, you know, originate from or initiate from. The way run would be used now would be to sort of masticate on, to chew on over and over again. So, and most often it wouldn't even be in the context of food, you know. Je is, is what is commonly used now when it comes to, I think I have a, I have a video on the verb je, which is eat. So that's the one that is commonly used. Now it would be more commonly used in the sense of masticate and it would be, it would be, let's say chewing stick. A chewing stick is like, a, it looks like a piece of wood that you can masticate on and it, it may not necessarily whiten your teeth. Traditionally, we use charcoal for that, but it would kill the plague in your teeth. It has certain qualities that keeps your teeth strong, you know, fights germs in your gums and in your teeth. So it's understandable if a person doesn't know no, to apply in the context of originate or initiate from or stem from just because perhaps you know and it's true that you, nobody really uses the word in that context as often as they use she or another synonym so when you put the word oriru together when you put the word oriru together it is the main place like i said ori would when it's applied extensively, you know, especially in contraction with another word, the main place, the major point, the top point sort of the pinnacle of origination or initiation. Origination sort of does it because when I say initiation, you might be thinking of the... Uh, Maybe initiation to a particular deity or or path. Uh, let's say origination. So the synonym for that would be the source. The source. Where a person is from. Where a person is from. And that's why you don't see Yoruba art without the ed. You know, if it's 
a yoruba heart you, you would usually whatever if it's a sculpture or a painting or something you would usually have the head even if it's just the head alone even if it's just the head maybe even the neck many times even if, if it's just the head alone that's yoruba heart so even the way that the spiritual body is seen it's almost like a head you know but it's not it's not the physical head the ones that that has the mouth and the nose and the skull and everything it's just the spiritual one the spiritual one as our soul that's the way the the, the the yoruba soul is seen just you know whatever it is but the head is an integral part of it as well the soul the spiritual body the spiritual self so when you live it as the one word that it is orionu it means source source of the of 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 the head of the spiritual self source of the soul if you will source of the self you may be referring to the physical self this physical head or the spiritual self the spiritual head but where it is from orionu the source the the where it is from so the idea of heaven as oh this one place in the sky is not we it's not even even the orionu the source of the self source of the soul source of the destiny right where you got your assignment from source of the you know before you then chose oh this is the body that i want to fulfill the assignment with source of the soul it doesn't connote that nothing about the word connotes that it has to be you know, somewhere up in the sky if your egg back you know your 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 soul group operates on earth if you're sort of when i if i say earthbound that's going to give you a different that's going to give you a different connotation of people who try to get into heaven but they cannot say <laughs> that's that's no that's that's not it but you may be from anywhere your soul group may be most active or uh, mainly located uh, yes maybe located somewhere on earth you know you don't have to you don't have to ascend anywhere if you die if your soul group operates on the earth you join them you join the rest of your egg bear. if they operate from below the earth if that's where your soul group is you know that's where you decide to you i guess assignments are assigned i guess you know that's where you would return to that's your home that's your source right that's your source that's your home when you say oh, in, in, in current nigeria people are thinking about heaven but it's not heaven it's not it's not the idea of heaven their source could be below the ground you know they they, they could doesn't mean that there's hell there they may operate from the planet venus that may be where your soul group is or you have a strong connection to that planet you go there it could be from the planet Mars. That may be where you, you may be galactic. You return, you know, to the rest of your, your, your galactic team. You may be from a particular star or you may be from a particular region. You go back there. You go back there. So the idea that on heaven is one vast place with like, oh, streets of it, it, it's almost greed infused you know <laughs> if you if you really want to go to heaven just because they say this the this the, the streets are uh filled with gold then that's that's even greedy that's a greedy reason to want to make it to heaven just to see the gold that's absolutely great or oh, oh it's such a beautiful place and you have the best view of people suffering in hell and they would ask you for drops of water and you would say oh i told you to accept this deity into your life and you refuse so you might as well suffer and and oh there would be fourteen thousand. how many no, no i don't think the, the virgins are up to fourteen thousand. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe they are maybe they are even much more <laughs> depending on the number of people who, who make it there 
<laughs> so that they can have uh, the first hand taste that's that's even like <sighs> but yeah humans can be funny you know it's almost made up it's the, the yoruba culture is extremely practical it's practical it, it has its its own fallibilities you know but it's practical when it comes to certain things we're not promising you the idea of honoring according to your advice this is it's not necessarily somewhere that uh you have <laughs> you have people singing to you day and night or you have uh streets of gold and you have crowns of gold and you have like a very big mansion so it's okay if you don't build a house on earth it's okay when you get to heaven somebody will build your house as a matter of fact is already waiting for you there with gold and your when you get there and you say oh what next what's there to do there would be nothing to do just to eat and play with the animals and you know you i, I suppose you sink from there to <laughs> you just sing <laughs> from there that you don't you know they get tired of singing you just sing <laughs> from from day to dusk <laughs> uh it, it's it's laughable it's laughable but it's, also, it's laughable to me to me i apologize i don't mean to offend anybody but uh to a degree even the people who preach these things don't understand it so it's laughable Oriunu is basically where the soul is from Oru is a strong version of that you may not necessarily go to it depends on who is waiting for you when you die you know Walo Darak Womawege is the belief, is the Yoruba belief. So it depends on who comes to me. Like the person who may come to take you home or escort you home may be different from the the party or the group of souls or spirits who come to escort me home. Where I'm from and where you're from on soul level. The idea that heaven is just one place that you go to. And you sing and you go into your mansion and you eat and you play with the animals and the next day you sing and you it's an oversimplified <laughs> too oversimplified uh way of looking at what happens beyond the earthly experience although the word ori you know apart from the fact that it means head and this is a physical terms could be it could be the highest point of something this is still in physical terms you know the highest point or the top of something or the, these are all just physical you know connotations if you look at ori in the spiritual sense maybe not maybe a combination of both spiritual and physical and you break the word down ori ri when you see the word ri you remember the word the the word c that's what how it is most commonly used now re is to see but uh re can also be to experience it doesn't mean that so uh, you, you you will see what i will show you the show there or i will show you you see if you tell someone oh i will show you what i'm made of you're not necessarily going to uh give them a show or oh, you're <laughs> you know, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to give them a dance or something you are saying that you're going to make them experience something so apart from the fact that it's something that can be seen it's also something that can and more importantly it's an experience the source of the self in relation to the experience or set of experiences as a matter of fact where it is from oriru if you have any questions please don't hesitate to ask i'll be more than happy to respond further if i know the answer thank you so so much for watching thank you so much for your support please like share and subscribe thank you for your monetary gifts i really 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 appreciate it and each and every person and i have everybody's names on 
my temporary website i'm trying to i bought the domain yorubateacher.com yay so uh, i'm going to you know build a better website and sort of make it better but for now the fresh waters website is what i use and i make sure i stay updated and put everyone's name you know and the amount of their the, that they've given as a way of appreciating everybody so uh, please continue to support my channel in any way that you can and i'll see you in the next video enjoy the rest of your day and goodbye